back everyone to our Minecraft Season 3 walkthrough series. I believe this is episode number 19 for today. I am recording here on Monday the 14th of March. And yeah guys, as you can see down below here, I've been working on my farms off camera. I actually traveled, I did a little bit of exploration off camera. And as you can see, I also cleared out this entire section over here that was previously kind of like a hillside alongside my farm, my indoor farm. So, yeah, I did a little bit of work off camera, as you could see. I also cleared out this section over here. So now I have even more room if I wanted to add a larger farm down in this section of the fortress. So, yeah, um, and also I did find some carrots off camera. Actually, there was a shipwreck out over here in the harbor that I'd like to show you guys probably in Maybe, if not today's episode, a future episode. Um, but yeah, so I found some carrots. I got some pigs in here, started breeding them. And then, really quickly, guys, uh, what I want to show you is I want to show you the rest of my multi-level farm because I didn't show you that in the last episode. Um, so this is the second story. And then maybe today we can even work on, you know, finishing this up, getting this all squared, uh, squared away. But my actual goal for today's episode is to do some strip mining in my mine, hopefully get some diamonds, because I got a Fortune 3 Efficiency 4 diamond pickaxe off camera. So I've been very fortunate, literally, um, with my enchants off camera. And by the way, this is my glass staircase leading you up to the various levels within this multi-level farm complex. So I really like how this looks. It's, it's really clean looking. Then this is going to be the final level all the way up here, right up here. It's going to be a massive tree farm. And another thing I wanted to mention, guys, is as you can see over here in the distance in my fortress, look how massive this place is. Holy crap, guys. I cannot believe that all we've accomplished so far. Um, but back to what I was saying is you can see those acacia trees. There's an um, acacia savanna biome over in the distance. So... I cut down a tree, picked up some saplings, and started to produce a small little acacia farm because I'm a huge fan of the acacia wood. I think the planks are beautiful. I love it. It's like an orange glow. So yeah, that's what we're going to do in today's video. It's going to be a nice quick little episode. I'm just going to kind of talk about what I have planned for the week. It should be like a 15 to 20 minute video, so nothing too crazy. Uh, we're not really going to do that much like building or anything like that and so let's go and just continue on here uh yeah i got that in there oh another thing i wanted to show you is let's go over here i want to show you my chicken towers and another thing i'm gonna have to do before i leave is pick up some coal because i do need some coal for this mining adventure so I fixed this. As you can see, all these eggs are dropping now. I got rid of the trap door and just placed another water block below it so the chickens can stay hovering there. That way I can generate as many eggs as I need. So that's my new design, guys, and I have that over there. You know what? Let's just go up here and throw some of these chicken eggs in here. Yeah, I really I love this design. It's really beautiful. Okay, let's see how many we can get. We'll probably end up having a ton in here. As you can see, I'm probably going to have to do some slaughtering. Look at that. <laughs> that is insane. Okay, so let's get out of here. And we're going to go back to the base one more time. Oh, you know what? We have some coal this way. Let's use my new Fortune Fortune 3 to pick this up. See how much coal we end up obtaining. Hopefully it's a decent amount. But yeah, so this is going to be a fun little exploration video, and we're already at 19. That's that's pretty decent. Let's see. Let's let's pick this up and see how much this gets us. Oh, you know what? This is good. This is good enough for now, and then we'll come back eventually. So I'm really happy with the progress of the fortress. The next major build we're going to do is. Uh, I want to build like a lookout tower slash observatory at the top at, of this mountain over here or probably that one over there. So I want to build an observatory 
which is kind of be like gonna be like a, a lookout point so that way we can observe the land and I was also looking in the distance there's a really cool biome kind of looks like an ice ca cavern or something really cool so maybe if we get some time we'll check that out actually let's switch this over here just to make it really efficient so I have my regular working pick in my hot bar as well as my fortune and then my torches and I was going to upload my Grand Theft Auto Vice City episode for today but I'm actually gonna record probably three episodes three sessions tonight I wanna try to get that game finished quickly as well as Jack 2 because I've been jacking around on Jack and Daxter <laughs> with my uploads <laughs> I really haven't uh, been too consistent with that series I sincerely apologize, guys. That's should have been done with that. Um, I like to try to go to a new location. Yeah, let's let's go over here somewhere. Let's go right here. So yeah, I'm also going to be doing my nostalgia gaming series starting this week. Actually, my first episode, and I'm I'm thinking about either doing a Nintendo GameCube game, one, one of my popular games from my childhood. It's actually a Mario installment, so I'm either thinking about doing that or possibly working on something else, which is another action-adventure slash platforming game. So that's, that's possibly going to come up in the future as well this week. But my Nostalgia Gaming series, it's going to have a different focus this time around. Whereas, I kind of was just winging it in my first season. I'm going to have more of a scripted slash review style um, focus for the series. Oh man, I really hope we get something good here. <laughs> I want to get some diamonds. I've had a lot of luck recently in this particular cave system. So you never know. Maybe I will. Or maybe I won't. It'll just be a digging... Oh, look at this guy, see? I was talking all uh, negatively. We found some diamonds. That's perfect. Let's see. Oh, four. Okay, so that's good. Oh, see? This is why you always want to uh, check around the corner. You never know what you're going to get here. All right, see, I told you that I had some uh, luck down here recently. Hopefully this section will be even more promising as we make our way down. This is going to be kind of like a, uh, I don't know, I, I have diamond fever today. <laughs> I definitely am in the mood to start collecting some resources now that I have this fortune. This would be really helpful. And I want to just give a shout out to my, one of my uh, good friends here, Gerardo, um, also known as SolidMan107. He's been a huge supporter of my series. And all my, basically all my series on my YouTube channel, whether it's a travel video or anything. Oh, look at this. We got some redstone. This is going to be perfect. Also, if you guys could let me know if, uh, like, what's the best location to find slimes? Because I want to start making sticky pistons for automated redstone farms. And, I don't know, I, I, sh I could just be... I'm, I'm being kind of lazy because I'm just asking you guys, but I should do some more research on the mine. Ooh, the Minecraft wiki. Okay, so basically, every time I see lava, I end up just stopping in that section. So we're not going to even risk it. We're, we're just going to go back to the beginning. We're going to start in a new tunnel. But so far, we have eight diamonds. That's good. And off camera, I picked up over 20, almost 30 actually, so. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just go this way, I guess. Hopefully it's promising. Oh, look at this. Oh my god, I literally had to go one more block. That's pretty amazing. See, I knew there was more. You always have to check your surroundings, guys, because when you're searching for diamonds like this, it's uh, it's very easy to get kind of like turned around, I guess, or lost in your minds that you're creating. There we go. And I've always been a fan of the strip mining method. It just it works best for me, honestly. Okay, let's.
let's keep digging over here. But um, yeah, with my Nostalgia Gaming series, back to what I was saying about that. For this season, I'm going to give more of like uh, history on each video game company that was uh, produced the games, as well as just an overall more in-depth review compared to my previous attempts. Because I've been doing video game reviews for a while. I actually used to do them for my uh, high school newspaper. We had like a, a segment, a tech segment, and I, I used to do reviews for video games and all kinds of different things. It was really cool. Back in the good old days of high school. Alright, and apparently Fortune works on gold as well as iron, so I'll be able to increase my yields, which is always great. Okay, let's go here. Perfect. I hope we find one more section of diamonds, hopefully. Because, like I said, I've had a lot of luck in this particular section of my strip mine. But you never know. Your luck could run out. <laughs> Gosh, guys, it's so crazy. I, I, I thought this war in Ukraine was going to uh, just be like a quick little thing. Or not even happen at all. But it, it really surprised me. What the hell is this? This is kind of weird. Looks like a continuation from one of my old tunnels. <clears throat> Look at that. We got some more diamonds. Beautiful, guys. God, this is amazing. I'm going to have a shit ton. I already have 22. I'm already, already going to be at a stack in my chest. Just about. Which is great. That's my goal. I'm going to have a ton of valuable resources. Then maybe... Oh, another thing I want to do is I want to put a beacon in within my fortress. So we got to find a, a perfect location for that. There's so many things that have changed with this game over the years. It's like a whole new experience every time I log on to the world. Alright, let's go here. So we'll do a little bit of everything in this video. I showed you what I did off camera. Um... I think in the next video, we're going to actually work on laying down the foundation, the, the pathways around the rest of the fortress out of the birch half slabs. So that way I'll have nice walkways so you can get from point A to point B easily. And I don't know, let me know in the comments down below. I was thinking of adding a lava moat around the exterior of the fortress just to kind of give it that nice rustic look <laughs> um, but you can let me know in the comments what you think about that idea if it if I should just forget about that or not okay sweet so we're gonna continue digging just a few more maybe maybe if I find one more decent section of diamonds I'll be good there we go I don't want to run into one of those lava pits again that would just be super, a big bummer. Oh, man. And recently, guys, I'm going to do a video. Um, let me know if you want me to do a video about, like, a studio tour at my house. I could show you everything that I have set up for my episodes. Oh, crap. I want to do keep that redstone with a fortune. There we go. Nice. I like how redstone gives off that natural glow, too. Provides a nice little light. Okay, when there's when there's uh, gold and redstone around, you know there's some diamonds. Okay, let's take a look. They gotta be around here somewhere. <clears throat> One more section, guys, and I'll call it quits of diamonds. I'm just like, a, oh, look at this. Perfect. See, it's hard to quit, though, because you think there's going to be some more right around the corner. Look at this. So many resources. I'm going to have to turn this redstone into, into some blocks. Because I, I really do have an abundance. I, 
I can't remember how many blocks of it I have back at the base. But it's definitely a ton. Look at that, we're almost level 32 as well. You know what else we should make? We should make a full suit of diamond armor. Because if I'm going to be going on these uh, wild adventures, then I'm definitely going to need a strong suit of armor to go alongside. But let's see, let's just keep, continue a little bit more and see if we can find more diamonds. I like... I kind of like mining through this tough material. Super fast. Although when you have a pick that's as good as mine here, you really don't have to worry about that. What is this again? Efficiency 3, yeah. Alright, let's go. Come on guys, one more section, fingers crossed. This cave has been really, or not, I keep calling it a cave. <laughs> but literally we're just going in a straight line. We have to do what we have to do though, to get the job done. There we go, let's continue on. Come on diamonds, I know you're right around the corner. All right, well, well we're almost done guys. <laughs> Maybe when I go back up to, we'll put some of these resources in the furnace because I I, uh, I don't want to forget about them. Another thing I collected um, when I, I found that shipwreck that was by the bay, there was a it was called a suspicious stew. So I'm not I'm kind of unsure about that. What that stuff is exactly. Hopefully it's nothing like. That's gonna. It's probably gonna poison me if I if I try to eat it. Here we go. So I'm probably not gonna mess with it, but that's okay. All right. Let's see. Any more diamonds around here? Oh, we've got some redstone. This is a good sign. Just like the last time. <clears throat> we found redstone first. I'm actually going to have to throw this out. Hopefully we'll be able to find our way back too. There's so many different tunnels now. Look at this guys. Perfect. See I'm glad I continued on. Oh my gosh. This is amazing. Makes you want to keep going. <laughs> but I really shouldn't though. Alright, so we're at 33. I think that's good. Let's get out of here. I just want to keep digging because you always think like in the back of your head, oh, if I go one more block, I'll probably find another cluster. Look how far we went. Jeez. Probably went over, I'm guessing over 500 blocks. Probably 500 to 700 blocks. This is insane. <laughs> But when you're strip mining, it's always nice because all you literally have to do is just turn around and then you end up right at the same location. So, yeah, we're going to go back up, throw these goodies into the furnace to start smelting, and then we'll do a quick evaluation of all the things we've gathered. And it's great that I have this fortune because hopefully I'll be able to uh, get another fortune pick once I get to level 33. They say the higher level you are, the better odds you have of obtaining the fortune. So I'm going to make sure I'm really high up there in rank. Or XP, I should say. <clears throat> Speaking of XP, I would like to create an XP farm for this season. So I'm doing a little bit of research, kind of checking it out and seeing different layouts. Because I know it's changed over the years. But hopefully I'll be able to find like a mob spawner. If not, I'm going to have to create a dark room spawner. When literally you just build a dark room with like a waterfall system. It falls right down into a pit. And then you could just easily kill the enemies. Okay. Could probably incorporate something too with a hopper. 
I know those have become really popular recently. Jeez, I need a, a quicker... I need to make, like, an elevator down to this strip mine. That'd be really cool. Maybe I'll look up some designs off camera. But don't worry, guys. We're almost there. So once we make it to the top, let's do a quick eval, and then I'll end the episode for t this Monday night. And then on Tuesday, I will have some more Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Hopefully I'll get a chance to record Jack, too. I want to get that shit over with already. Never realized how challenging of a video game that is. Okay, let's go in the furnace. We'll throw the, this, and I think that's it. Look at that, guys. Okay, so we have 58 diamonds. That is insane. So I am pretty much loaded right now. That was a great haul. And I really hope you enjoyed today's Minecraft episode. It's been very entertaining. And we were able to do something different here. So thank you all for watching today's episode. Stay tuned for more amazing content coming throughout the rest of the week. Stay tuned.